Hi everyone, Dre Power 60 here. A lot of noise, men are working in the buildings. I'm outside <laughs> with a messy hair, wind blowing all over. I've got two hours freedom, freedom. <laughs> to do and I'm home early but I want to give them the two hours that uh, she's entitled to so I'm just over here sitting a little bit away from the kitty park here let me show you and it's windy today and you can't see it too well but behind these trees there's a playground a lady over there with her dog and that's our new water park what a difference from just having rocks. They really did a cute little job there. It's my apartment. And they're working on all kinds of buildings and they're making all kinds of noise. But just thought I would share a few moments of my free time. I'm sitting uh, on a bench by a ball field. Not far from my apartment. Oh my god. So you can imagine the noise we had to put up with at our building. Now it's at their building. But you know, fire trucks or an ambulance or something. There goes a fire truck. City life is always noisy. Mind you, not usually this noisy. <laughs> Anyway, guys, just wanted to check in with you, let you know that I'm okay, mom's okay. I don't know how she's doing today. My daughter's advice to me was don't ask, just let her get used to the fact that there's going to be people coming in. It's the same lady, she's very nice. So, anyway, that is it for me for today. I'm just a quick video on what I'm doing, I'm sitting out here. Next time I'll bring a book. <laughs> but I had planned on going to a couple of places and ended up not, not bothering because I know I would have been too long. Sorry for the wind. Anyway, that's it for me. <laughs> it feels so good, actually. It feels so good. <laughs> anyway, take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Okay, I'm back in the house. Um, the lady's here for another hour, so I thought I would go through some of my things that I bought and organize some things over there. I don't know, Mom will probably come in and disturb me, but that's okay. I'm totally windblown. And uh, so what I have to do next time is plan my hours so that I'm away a little bit longer. But I bought myself a new pair of... I call them pedal pushers. I think they're called capris. I don't know what they're called, but I wanted a pair of black ones and these are stretchy and they're nice fit. So, cause the only ones I had were my jeans. But anyway, I am going over to my craft area and look around and see my stuff and see what I've got. And uh, I'll be right back. So after all that cleaning and everything else that I've done, now I have to, um, because I was packing up everything to move it, so I've got, you know, most of my gear here. So I'm gonna have to go through it all. Ugh. And this is a box that I have to finish and mail. And I found this book in my, my book of goodies and it's, um, Lots of poetry. Now, some of them have got flags on them. What's this one? This one is Lullaby Sleep, My Little One. This one is One the Door. Who'll come in? Who'll come in? Who'll come in? Open the door and who'll come in? So early Monday morning. I don't know. What's this one? Johnny's Farm. 
Johnny had a little dove, coo, coo, coo. Johnny had a little mill, clack, clack, clack. Johnny had a little cow, moo, moo, moo. Johnny had a little duck, quack, quack, quack. Coo, coo, clack, clack, moo, moo, quack, quack, down on Donnie's farm. It's almost like a song. And then it, this must be a teacher's book. Teaching suggestions. Read the poem to the children lightly and easily. Reread several times and have them fingertip the beat. Remembering the silent beat at the end of the refrain lines. Hmm. Interesting. Must have picked it up somewhere. Kindergarten to grade three. <laughs> Enjoy the poetry. These are books that I found that I thought I might be ripping apart because I don't read them. Now here's a terrible O Magazine. O's Guide to Discovering Your Best Life. Interesting pictures, I don't know. A couple of them. A couple of them would be, you know, the advertising and so on. You know, do I want to rip it up or don't I? I don't know. So we'll put that one down here. <sighs> this Pictionary. Your first Catholic Piction, Picture Dictionary. And in this one, I've got all kinds of cute things and, and uh, confession, Holy Eucharist, what things mean. Here. But I mean, it's got some really cute pictures that I could use in my journal. My journal. Yeah. See, I've got things like this hanging around. i got to put it away. I don't know. Tips for the Lazy Gardener. I don't know when I picked this up. It's got some pretty pictures in it. I don't know if you can see or not. Hmm, the sides are good. Anyway, we'll put that among the maybes. <laughs> among the maybes, I've got a really old book. Let me get it. It's uh, two old books that I have here. I've had for years. And years. Oh, something fell. I don't know what. This is, and it's falling apart, to Richard from Uncle Oliver, Christmas 1942. Look at that. I mean, the pages are so fragile. And I'm going to show you what the name of it is. See, it's all falling apart. Hans Brinker or The Silver Skates. Isn't this beautiful book? It, it truly is falling apart, but it's excellent for my crafts. The other one is this pear soap. I think my ex-mother-in-law, who has now passed away, but when I was married, I think she gave me this. She had it at home, and it's um, 61st edition. I, I can't remember. It's got some flags in the front page. Look, it's even coming off the the binding there. Um, it's got flags. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's an encyclopedia. Some flags of British Commonwealth and foreign. Look at this. And Pears Encyclopedia. Pears is a company that makes soap that I know of. Volume 1, The World, Everyday Information, Home and Personal, Medical First Aid, Cookery, Gardening, Photography, Home and Personal, Contents. So it tells you about prominent people. Wow, this is fascinating. Prominent people, everyday information would be like the English Dictionary, General Information, Business Information academic. Oh, it's got maps in it, and I didn't even know. 
Oh, look at this. It's got maps that I could use. But it's falling apart. General information. I don't know what this is, but this looks interesting. Wow. It's got some interesting stuff in here. But uh, cookery. How to cook things, I suppose. How to be a good cook. Vegetables, poultry, pigeons, gardening. Baby's first what year? Baby's first year. I wonder what they suggest for the baby. The expectant mother. Hmm. Anyway, um, I'm going to put all of these away. I don't know if I showed you these, but I was watching um, one of the YouTubers. I keep forgetting who, which one, uh, were making, you know, tags. So they were making larger tags. So I made a few. There's one. There's another. Here's another one. These are, I think, one and a half. Now, why is that one? Oh, there's two. I had two together. I was wondering why it was coming off. Um, I think it's one and, yeah, one and a half by three. One and a half by three is the outside. And then we did some rounding here. Oh, and I didn't, I don't have it. I don't have it with me because I cleaned up. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. And then there's these kind of tickets. And if you can see the corners and they're all exactly the same. And the tip I learned was to grab an old card, credit card. This is an old, I, it says 1241 on it. I wonder if there's money on this. And I cut it. I should go to Home Depot and find out. I should. But anyway, you just cut the corner a very teeny bit. And then when you put your card beside it, let me get this straighter here. So when you put it even, on each side and you trim it, they're exactly the same. I always had trouble getting those exactly the same. That is a great tip. 1241, or I wonder if there's any money on that. I should put it in my wallet and check, just for fun. So anyway, we took it to two stages. Um, first, they were uh, one and a half by three, and then the, there was an inner layer um, that was one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then you just uh, embellish it or stamp it or do whatever you want with it. I didn't do too much with it. Here's another one with the squares. The trouble is I don't know where to use these. I guess we use them, you know, in tuck spots, in journals and stuff. But now that I have those, I'm going to put things like that I have lots of room in here. I love this thing. I'm glad I spray painted. I'm glad I spray painted this gold. I'm glad I did because it comes in handy when you're looking for certain size cards. And I think I'm going to start putting these in here for now until I put them away <laughs> and see. Anyway, guys, um, I was going to do some. I was going to do some crafting, but I have a few things I want to get rid of. I want to, ooh, I want to see, I want to see what I can um, create and um, see what I can do <laughs> with some of the videos that I have saved. Um, in my uh, on my phone so that I can look at them later. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. I've got just a little bit of time there. I probably got about half an hour left before the worker leaves. So this is my new area where I'm going to be crafting and I have my 
lights. I've got lots of lighting and uh, I'm going to practice with my wax seals. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I got to check this out. It says 1241 on here. It's probably been, been used. It's probably too old. Anyway, I don't even know what year that's from. But go check it out. All they can do is say, it's so old. I'm going to say thank God because I cut it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. And uh, hopefully I'll have a plan, which I didn't have today because I didn't know what time she was coming. It was supposed to be noon and then it was one and then it ended up being 1.30 um, for a two hour shift for today. And I was gone for, t for an hour and a half an hour and about 10 minutes so I said I just brought um, the cokes in that I bought and the new pedal pushers capris whatever they're called um, you can tell my age when I call them pedal pushers but um, I'm I'm glad I got the black ones because I've got these they're almost white they're they're jeans but they're almost white but those will go with more of my clothes. And I think I'm going to start going through. I'm looking to look to see where you are. Um, I'm going to start going through these packages um, while I can. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.